Hello and welcome to this final update to the Hair Shader 1 or Hair Shader Simple. Now this is the predecessor to Hair Shader 2 and when this was made I was using uh, Shader Forge to create the shader graphs. Uh, I don't actually code my shaders because I'm not very uh, good with the coding side so I've, I've used uh, Amplify Shader uh, for Hair Shader 2 and my recent shaders. But this one was created with Shader Forge, and as you know, it's no longer um, updated and things. So I did just a few little refinements to the shaders just to wrap it up and uh, kind of put these these ones to bed. Um, so I'm no longer going to update this pack unless there's a specific issue. Then uh, perhaps there might be a fix, but otherwise I'm just going to leave this pack as it stands. It's uh, quite an optimized shader, so it's probably going to be good for like mobile and things. Uh, as you can see, it looks a little bit noisy in the scene here. So what I've done is got Mad Goat and a little bit of post process uh, stack as well. So you know the post process stack is free, and you can download that from Unity Asset Store. Mad Goat costs a little bit, but it gives you a nice effect. So I'm just going to show you Mad Goat running uh, without post process. Uh, I've recently just added this wig uh, and to show you a better example of how everything looks. But Mad Goat does a really good job at smoothing out the cutout. Now let me just zoom in a bit. Oh. Let me just zoom in to one of these. So this one moves around as well. You can see it goes crazy in the viewport. It's only because the frame rate in the editor is different from the frame rate when you play. Uh, so it goes fast as hell here, but I'm just going to reposition the camera by looking at point and pressing Control Shift F whilst having the camera selected. Good little tip that. Um, that's now reorientated the camera. Maybe I can zoom in a bit more. Okay, now when I play, we see this. And you see it just does a better job at uh, ironing out the noise. Um, so Mad Goat's really nice, I recommend it for hair because um, this is using a cutout method. So yeah, I've added these wigs in just to test the the current shader. Now it doesn't use any extra texture maps, it's, all it's doing is just using cutout filter. It's terrible to look at that isn't it? Um, and you choose your material here. So these textures are kind of like generic and work across the board so you can choose how many like, cuts you want and I've just applied it to this mesh uh, the UVs for the hairs go from top to bottom so it respects this kind of system uh, there's no UVs or textures kind of all over the place like in different angles and curves and things so it's good to follow suit with this top to bottom method uh, you'll see there's the odd bit kind of cuts away there not too sure why that is but I think when you move this around, it's probably because they start at a different point and this isn't really kind of falling off at the top, so it's just a flat cut. Uh, but you can edit this this alpha, no problem, and, you know, bring in your own ones uh, that match your hairs and any normal map things. But the good thing about this is you can tile them, get different cuts, get different like lines from the normal map here. Um, it's got this little tone variation thing, you've got gloss variation, uh, you can control the gloss inside the alpha here. So it's very, very basic optimized here and it gives you enough control. There's also uh, you know, the base color here so you can get a kind of like two tone type thing happening. Um, gives you enough of a range without too much overhead. Um, and does a nice kind of uh, anisotropic effect here and you can also move that around uh, with this just this color here that just bends the actual normals of mesh and that kind of gives a nice effect but otherwise this is where this pack stands I'm not going to do any more with it uh, if you want something more advanced go for hair shader 2 uh, there's also Hair Shader HDRP now, which is just you know it's just been released today, 
uh, added to the asset store. So look out for that if you're using the uh, scriptable render pipeline stuff. And it's HDRP only at the minute. I'll work on a light, lightweight one in the near future. Um, depending on the feedback from the HD render pipeline one, I'll then do some conversions and release a lightweight render pipeline one. But that's all for now, and I'm just going to wrap this one up. This one's $6 in the asset store, and it will probably stay that price forever, and it's a good way to get introduced. If you like it, you can upgrade no problem to the hair shader 2 via the up upgrade button or you can buy the larger pack, which includes the skin shader, the eye shader, uh, the hair shader too, and loads of updates. That's called the human shader pack. It's a little bit more expensive, but you get uh, a lot more things and there's a bit of a discount on buying that full pack. So if you're making characters, that's ideal. Um, any comments, feel free to post in the YouTube uh, video below or get in touch by email via my unity store or any other way to get a hold of me uh, feel free thanks very much for watching bye